Right, we're coming in late to this. I was cleaning cages. I'm cleaning cages. And I had to clean Gary's cage, so I put Gary on the floor. I cleaned their cage first. I moved the babies and mama in there. I had Gary and Pipsqueak. I had Gary running around on the floor, and I thought, well, I'll give him someone to play with and see, you know, with all these nooks and crannies and places to hide right now because I'm in the middle of cleaning and moving things around. Um, I let them both run around, and they were really good for a good long while. They chased each other a little bit, but they also left each other alone. So then, um, now I'm cleaning Gary's, and so I was tired of them on the floor, so I put them in here. And there's been a little sketchy moments, but remember, they were together for a bunch of days, and the only reason why I separated them was really because Gary was relentless with Timmy. So, I'm testing this out. We did it in neutral territory, and now we're doing it in this cage. Oh, didn't expect that to happen. What do you think, Pipsqueak? <laughs> How amazing would that be? If after this whole long search to find a buddy, <laughs> he was right there all along. <laughs> oh, he was, he was right there all along. My big squeak, you were the buddy. And then they tear each other's faces off and bite each other's ears. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> He's bringing his his camouflage with him. All right, so I'm gonna repurpose this uh, that I have into an extra space, and I'm gonna turn this into a two by five. I just basically slid. You can see that? Uh, oh, you can't see that well. Uh, it's supported enough but hopefully that will give them enough space so that they don't feel cramped and maybe this will just be successful well, I guess that some people are gonna say well how are you gonna extend it well first off I cut this thing open and I'm taking this other one that's hopefully close to the same size and I'm just gonna slide it under there and uh, okay so I expanded it I still have to see how I've zip tied it together I've got to do that over here, zip tie them together. But look at this big amount of space. Look at that. Um, in some ways, it almost kind of looks like it's always been like that. Now I have a little bit more space under there to stash uh, um, pet store cages for emergency missions. It's about all the only thing that those cages are good for. Um, and it's been a good hour. So, now, Gary's been with piggies for mid much longer than that and started a fight. But let's see if with all this space they can't figure out that neither one is a threat. If they're gonna fight, they're gonna fight. And if they're not gonna fight, then they're not gonna fight. See? Doesn't matter how much space they have. Doesn't matter how much hay they have. It's all about personality. Look. Look at that space. Look at this space. Okay. Explore the space, you guys. One, two, three, four, five by two. Well, that, that little tiff was avoided. What do you think about this, Kay? I'm watching your videos. I'm listening. I really, really, really do. Thank you and appreciate all the bonding advice. We're never too experienced to learn a thing or two from someone else. Where's Pipsqueak? There he is. 
<laughs> I covered the tunnels in hay. So that it would be fun. So that they wouldn't fight. <laughs> so that there's lots for them to chew on. I gotta fill their pellet bowls a little bit, I think. There's a ton of hay in here, and it's all messy and it's everywhere. But that's okay, because they can graze. So far, they've been pretty good. This is where we're at. Pretty cute though. How can I get cuter? Get really. You want to take cute pictures of your pigs? You gotta get down low. You gotta get under those lips. Hey squeakers. Hey pip squeak. Oh, we were just in focus, right? Hi pip squeak. I don't want you guys to start fighting. I'm just saying hello. Alright. Come on, get back to your carrots. Did I start it? My fault? Hi, Gary Bear. What are you sniffing? So one of the reasons why I decided to leave this cage uh, messy after they proved to be okay on the floor in neutral ground because there's a lot of funky smells in here and it's not necessarily about them defending territory because um, they were both making funky smells and both were exploring the funky smells that were left around and if I had brand new fresh pine that might overpower that and also I'm lazy I'm not so lazy that I wouldn't do something to the uh, benefit of my pigs because obviously at the exact same time I expanded the cage. So I expanded the cage but I decided to leave all this hay and all this stuff in here instead of putting fresh stuff down. I mean I just put a whole bunch more hay but um, all of this is like five six day old pine shavings. So it's not clean. And in this case I think that was good. But it's an art, not a science, so. And I've tried everything with these guys. So. So far, so good. We are past an hour of them together. Well past that. Uh, past an hour with the new cage, I would say. I haven't been timing it. But it's been long enough for me to vacuum the floor and clean these two cages and build this cage. Here he goes. There hasn't been much humping. And maybe that's bad, because eventually someone's gonna try it. And that's when they'll fight. Because they're both little humpsters. Put that out there. <laughs> Little tooth chattering going on. Are you going to share? Pretty good. All right, well, we'll keep on going. Check back again in a little while. I was hoping this would work, but they just had a little, um, they were chattering teeth and they chased each other, but I broke it up before it could 
um, start and I put some more hay in there. I gotta try not to interfere. Look at all this space you guys have, you dummies. <laughs> it's crazy. Right? That's how people are. Plenty of space for everyone to get along. Plenty of resources. Everyone's got to crowd together and fight. After a little bit of uh, borderline squabbling, they seem to be... Oh, Gary found a piece of carrot. Pipsqueaks focusing on hay blossom, it looks like, under there. <sighs> I haven't always had this much trouble bonding boars. Okay, it's 11.30 at night, and it's been a few hours. Gary's still rumble strutting around. Pipsqueak is, Pipsqueak is uh, bedded down. I'm gonna let him sleep. Whoa, it's just me, relax. I'm gonna let him sleep and in the morning I'll check him for scratches. Good night, Pippi. You okay, bud? You okay, little squeaker? Hey. It's me. You okay? Are you okay? How are you, Gear Bear? Relax. Relax. All right, I want you guys to finish all this hay that you have. Okay. I'm proud of you guys. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Gary. So far, so good. We'll see how it is tomorrow. Stop being so awkward. Relax. So this is what happens when you put your finger in between two fighting pigs. I should have known better. It may get very, very, very infected. So I tied my finger up. The last time this happened and the bite was about this bad, the next morning my whole arm was swollen and I had to go to emergency care to get an antibiotic shot. I had plans for tomorrow, so hopefully that won't happen. But it's not feeling too good. And this is where I'm at now. Because I had to stop a fight. And then they were all worked up and Gary bit me. So, I'm just trying this out. Maybe he can get used to being with him. But, this sucks. <laughs> that's not good. You're stuck. This isn't very much space. Two and a half by two. This is not fair. But this is just temporary. Because I don't feel like decking out this thing. I'd rather just uh, let them be like this.
But man, I'll tell you, my finger hurts. I could feel it all the way down my forearm too, the pain. And uh, my finger went numb because it severed a nerve. No joke, boys are no joke. Pipsqueak got his hand bit too. How's your paw? Let me see. Let me see. Is it sore? I washed it off with soap for him. Guinea pigs heal real fast. And they have something in their blood that prevents them from getting infected. We can see where he got bit. I'll keep an eye on him too. It's the morning now. Well, you can't see how swollen my finger is, but at least it didn't swell past the tip of my finger. Um, and these guys, I put up a divider because they were getting rambunctious. And then they like to hang out together through the divider. So maybe I can take it down in a couple days. Maybe never. Because this isn't really enough space for both of them. People always ask me if I have pigs living side by side but not in the same cage, is that okay? Sometimes, sometimes it really is better. Maybe it's not a permanent solution, maybe it's a temporary solution. When I first got guinea pigs as an adult, and I had some as a child, but that's a whole different story. But when I first got my first pair of guinea pigs, they were brothers, and they were from the pet store. And after about four or five months, they just started fighting relentlessly. And I did everything I could. And eventually I had to divide the cage like this. And before I would do that, they couldn't be near each other without one pestering the other, without the littler one trying to prove his dominance over the bigger one. The, the bigger one would tolerate it to a point and then he would just get fed up and a fight would start. But after I put the divider up, they would lay very frequently like this, side by side, keeping each other company, knowing that one couldn't really pester or get at the other. And this gave them a certain sense of security, and because of that, they would lay side by side. Whereas when the divider wasn't there, they couldn't get away from each other fast enough. So maybe this is an answer. Temporarily or permanently. What's that dustpan doing in there? Well, I put them together a few minutes ago, and they instantly started fighting. I forgot to take the dustpan out. I used that to separate them. Gary had a chunk of Pipsqueak's fur, but it, I couldn't see any bites. Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it like this for a little while, a couple days, maybe a week or two. I'm gonna take the dustpan out, of course. But um, you know, when you see, sorry guys, when you see this, I mean, look at that. That's kind of a cool shot. <laughs> Um, so I'm not saying I call this a success, but I wanted to get both of them in this space and have them feel comfortable. They just, you know, they're not going to have enough space to run. That's the only problem. So I'll need to do more floor time or something. Not a good permanent solution, but they can enjoy each other's company without me worrying about them fighting. You bit me, Gary. I know you didn't do it on purpose. You're so cute, Gary. I just, I have to remove this to clean here. Look at all this hay that they haven't eaten that I've piled up to, for them to keep the peace. All right, you guys be good for just a few minutes here while I try to clean. They're gonna start fighting right away. Oh, gee.
Stop it. Okay, okay. He gotcha. You guys are side by side buddies only. Okay. So this is as it stands after being cleaned. Not a lot of space, but this will be temporary. We'll see how this goes for maybe a few weeks.